The materials we have got allow us to advance the research of new types of engines and may be of great importance for continuing the development of high power compressor generators which are needed for mobility of structures. You have been promoted to the commander of the Special Squadron. Congratulations! Now you are in direct charge of the 6th Striking Wing and you will be transferred to Sector TR-33 in the Central Atlantic that attracts our special attention. We have information that the Black Octopi is developing new super strong materials to use as submarine armor. Our group of system engineers have developed a device that allows access to the informational system of the enemy through the system of the satellite connection network. But to get this system functioning, we have to gain access to the mother terminal which is present at any laboratory or an info center. Purely theoretically, we can gain access using our terminals, but it may warn the enemies about our hacking within a few minutes. The only solution is to use an enemy terminal. Your next mission is to capture the CENTCOM situated in the central part of Sector TR-33 and gain access to the enemy computer network. You will be given a Marauder submarine with all the necessary equipment. Within minutes after you capture the object, we will send you rep subs through a teleportation channel in which you will load the samples of new Black Octopi submarines, which are at the experimental station in the northern part of the sector. You have to deliver the rep subs to the southwestern part of the sector. Hello my dear viewers, this is the fourth part of this game and let's start. Tips of the day. You can change the depth level of depth mines, laser snares and acoustic mines in the same way as for submarines. To do this use the left mouse button to click on the depth level indicator on the left sub selection the main control panel and the depth you wish for the object okay so what we got here small base one turret two turret oh that's good so let's uh, start with three or maybe four factories for submarines okay Let's look some facts about submarines in other games in the history of the game development. The Silent Service 1985 One of the earliest submarine simulation games, Silent Service, was released on 1985 for various platforms, allowing players to experience World War II Submarine Warfare Let's look what we need here to do Capture the central computer in the central part of the sector with the Marajor Tiger Shark We have uh, beat our opponent and there we create Marajor and try do this. Okay, defend the central computer for 15 minutes before two rep subs arrive to upload the experimental subs BO, baby 1 and baby 2. Find the experimental subs in the northern part of the sector, upload them onto the rep subs and deliver them to the western part of the sector, to the starting mission point. Okay, so I think we used to build some defensive systems, many turrets, when we need to defend the central computer. Because maybe it's the point to spawn game some submarines, we can defend this thing that we beat all the submarines. And then it's arrived by the nowhere, because it's spawn. I found this situation many times, so we need the turrets. 
the first scouts here i think this is enough to build the army so let's to try found our mission goals but we need to repair so let's build more repair stations To exchange gold to metal so we need the trade center and dismantling these structures we now working in the low oxygen so next we need to build this air station when we have no oxygen we build very slow okay and i found marajor tiger shark so we don't need to build it we have it already that's good let's end it here so the scouts number two they surprised very 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 slow building maybe 10 times slower I imagine how they are now using their spare oxygen tanks and this building are already built it's good so we need more metal and we can to exchange gold it's very simple so the problem is fixed now we need to find a new metal so we need to continue building this repairing platforms maybe build a few more i don't remember what is the optimal distance to create this gold mines so if you know tell me please i think this is the one screen like 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 so we repair all our submarines and let's go to find some troubles look at this 99 submarine i think they can handle all problems Underwater mines is a powerful weapon. We need more guys in this area. Next time I think we need to build the petrol. the metal let's look what we got here okay now we need to use this metal before that this area
these little points are with the ultra wave that damage the submarines of our enemy. We try to place turrets in this distance because the submarines which have in this depth or in this depth can't be handled by only this turret. Turrets in the right place can handle submarines in all depths. Submarine simulator that emphasizes realistic communication and team of teamwork among players as they operate different stations within the submarines. Awards in Medal of Honor, Allied Assault 2002, the popular first-person shooter Medal Medal of Honor, Allied Assault featured a level where players infiltrated a German U-boat base, adding a unique and fair twist to the gameplay. We need this Corium, but there are very powerful defense, so we destroy all these submarines and defense systems over there, and then we get this Corium. Look at this, this guy <laughs> knows that this turret can't handle in this distance, so it's weight. Submarine number two is arrived, and then together they are attacks. I need more submarines in there, using in patrol. We almost use all our oxygen tank resources, so build another number three. And we need more corium, so exchange gold for corium. Faster. I think these builders want to build the turret there, but there are my turrets and they don't get them a chance. Okay, let's try. Subnautica series 2018. The, sub the Subnautica series offers players an underwater survival experience on an alien planet where they explore vast oceans, construct bases and uncover mysteries of the deep. I play this game and this is very beautiful and interesting game. I think we exactly need right about 30 or maybe 40 series. World of Warships Submarines 2020 The popular naval warfare game World of Warships introduced submarines as a playable class, expanding the gameplay beyond surface ships and aircraft carriers. Ok, their main army is destroyed, let's repair. Need more guys in there. Enough quantity. 
Tom Clancy's Glass Recon and Breakpoint Submarine Mission 2080. This tactical shooter game includes a mission where players must infiltrate a submarine base to retrieve important data, showcasing the diversity of the gameplay settings. Aquaria 2007. Aquario is a unique underwater Metroidvania style game where players control a mermaid like character, exploring, exploring a vast underwater world filled with puzzles and secrets. So I get maybe 10, maybe 15 submarines. Their army are smaller now. These big, big laser submarines are very expensive by order, so I have good exchange rate. This submarine is cheap and this is good for me. Barrow Trauma 2090 A multiplayer submarine simulation game set on a distant moon's ocean. Barrow Trauma challenges players to manage their submarine and crew while facing underwater dangers. Steel Diver series 2011 Developed by Nintendo, the Steel Diver series offers players submarine-based gameplay with a mix of tactical challenges and unique control mechanics using the Nintendo DS Touch screen. Cold Waters 2017 Cold Waters is a modern naval warfare simulation that lets players command a submarine during the Cold War era, offering strategic depth and realism in underwater combat. These guys can't attack me. Probably they have not bullets. Torpedoes. Torpedoes. Battlefield 4. Naval Strike. DLS 2040. This expansion for Battlefield 4 introduced novel combat, including submarines offering players the chance to engage in underwater warfare within the popular first person shooter franchise. Let's repair remaining 26 submarines. So I think now we can build the warrior extractor. Depths 2040. A multiplayer game that pits diver against player controlled sharks. Um, Depths creates intense underwater battles in a sunken treasure hunting scenario. Silent Hunter series. The Silent Hunter series has been a staple in submarine simulation games since 1996, allowing players to command various marines in different historical periods and sorters of war. Thunderbolt 1987. Based on the James Bond movie, Thunderball was one of the earliest video games to incorporate underwater action sequences against a dynamic element to the gameplay. Realism in modern submarine simulators, modern submarine simulator games strive for authenticity by incorporating the pilot system managing authentic submarine models and realistic acoustic warfare, offering players a deep and immersive experience. I think we need to know more about the guys who created this beautiful game. So let's listen about history of the company which creates this game in a style that I think you are comfy to listen to this. In the charming coastal town Gamingville, where the salty sea breeze dances throughout the cobblestone street, a tale of creativity, strategy and determination unfolded. It was there that Strategy First Company, a small but ambitious game development studio, first set sail on its journey. Many months ago, in the year 1990, a trio of passionate gamers named Jack, Emily and Liam gathered in a cozy seaside cafe to discuss their dreams. They longed to create games that would transport players to distant lands, challenge their wits and ignite their imaginations. And so, with a shared vision and dash of courage, they founded Strategy First, the studio early years were skinned to a sailor navigating uncharted waters, armed with little more than their creativity and dedication. 
Jack, Emily and Liam worked tirelessly to bring their vision to, to life. They honed their skills, piecing together code and pixels into captivating virtual worlds. Their first creation, Kingdoms of Adventure, captured the hearts of gamers far and wide, establishing strategy first as a beacon of innovation. As the years flowed by like tides, strategy first weathered storms and revealed in triumphs. Their games marked by intricate strategies and immersive narratives became gems are adored by players of all ages. Titles like Enchanted Realms and Empire Unbound showcased the studio commitment to viewing tales that left players spellbound. Yet every ship faces challenges on the open sea. Strategy first encountered Roach Water when the gaming industry Currents. Let's look what we get here. Maybe there are some corium. Yeah, this, this, this corium we can handle. Shifted. The rise of technology brought for new horizons from three dimensional landscapes to online multiplayer realms. Undaunted strategy first embarrassed change transforming their studio into a heaven for innovation. And again we don't have oxygen. Almost. Let's build for. In the early 2000, Strategy First experienced a period of prolific creativity. Their strategic partnership with renowned author Isabella Rivers versus the enchanting chronicles of Elandria series, where players could not only explore fantastical realms but also shape the narrative's destiny through their... I think we need to leave this blog post in here. We don't have metal, but this blog post is not bad. They try to get the scorium and waste resources because I have this defense system. Look at this in the in this water area we almost depleted the gold. Decisions. This mariage of storytelling and gameplay drew admirers from every corner of the gaming world. Yet, like a tidal app, the studio faced challenges once more in 2010. Now I think we better get this area and beat against this air stations. A financial squall rocked the industry. Learning strategy first to adjust its sales, Jack, Emily and Liam, now resonant captains of their ship, steered the studio toward calmer waters. They reimagined classic titles for modern platforms. We lose maybe half of the army, but we can 
can do some damage. Winning the hearts of both nostalgic players and new adventurers seeking on chart territories. Presently, as the sunset over gaming will, tranquil shores, strategy first stands as a testament to resilience and creativity. Their portfolio includes an array of beloved games, each a chapter in the grand tale of their journey. The studio commitment to involving with the tides has led to partnership with emerging technologies, and their commitment to storytelling remains as steadfast as the lighthouse that guides ships safely home. And so, dear viewers, the story of Strategy First continues to unfold a tapestry woven from pixels and passion, resilience and vision as long as gamers dare to dream. Strategy First will remain a luminous star in the coastal constellation of game development, forever sailing toward new horizons on the boundless sea of creativity. Okay, these guys do some damage there and find Corium there. Let's, let's get this Corium and build some turrets in here and in there. Maybe in this stage of the game this sub but don't destroy this structure to get it by the monitor to open their technology we have good defense there so we built research stations near these structures the course is seven against one it's not bad but it continued to fall down so we have not metal and corium. First of all we build these extractors. Dismantling of this structure can get us a chance to continue build this. And we need trade center. This structure is very helpful. The course is not good for the metal. And continue building our research center okay this is our technologies we use to research it later and this is the area of technologies our enemy small chance to open enemy research list of technologies and we are not so lucky in this so let's try to research our technologies this area can't build submarines against my army this area can build submarines too so i think we can do some points by the mission objectives This is the optimal area to build droids. What about the new technologies? More faster capture buildings by the Marador is a good idea. Now I build a few more research centers to faster research in our technologies. Okay, weapon improvements upgrade to torpedo level 3, new class of submarines depth bomb technology, structure improvement increasing formation security, structure improvement detect teleportation, and new type of structures disperser screen technology required. It needs to research detect teleportation first to research this. I want to capture these buildings to open technology list but in this area is very power powerful building defense turret with multiple 
torpedoes. So we need the special operation. I use the key to find this submarine in keyboard 1, 2, 3 and 5 and can use it to get this, this and this structure in one time. So we get the enemy technology research uh, high potential to heavy laser in the way of building the battery station, I think, and upgrade heavy laser range. This is also the enemy technology. Let's repair all submarines and return in this area when we can do the mission objectives. submarine and destroyed and this submarine almost dead okay I think this is the all working submarines which have my opponent and I can get their structure submarines but now I can get this structure in this area by the marauders and open technology list again so I need to build the marauders we don't need to spend volume to build in this mine so we own this possibility to create it now we need the clear view and prepare to open the enemy technology list because it's open a short time so when it's open we need to do fast checking and start researching and we need more metal this game can crash sometimes so maybe a few saves it will be a clever idea not to prevent damage but to prevent some crashes of the game so we use hot case and let's start to capture buildings
Okay, let's see what we got. Still scout technology and cassette shell technology. It's not bad. Cassette shell technology is what we need to build this. Maybe not only one to what we need, but one of this. What we need to build this turrets. Next point is technology of these guys. Let's repair. So let's try search time to capture this. destroy this so I close this turrets okay I think I research already all technologies which have this enemy in this four part of company mission in next mission they have another technologies but in this one in four part this is all technologies that they can get me Research. So let's use this to capture the central computer. Okay, repair and let's capture. Look in this, this is interesting. This submarine in the high position and my turret captured turret can't get this target. But if we have this turret in this position or this position, maybe there, it can handle it. Let's try. Not all position it can handle, the high position no, but middle and lower it can handle. work something like this and this is why we need to build turrets like this type oh this is baby one and baby two this is special submarines in mission objectives if we defend computer center this baby one and baby two arrive to upload find the experimental subs upload them onto the rep subs and deliver so i need to build these platforms to transportation. I think they have no tor torpedoes to, to attack me, but they have lasers, ruby lasers. And don't attack me because this is the mission objective. I think this is the special honor to this small guy defend this mission objects it will be happy so defend done baby one and baby two transportation done the mission is almost done look at this we destroy something about 300 of submarines looks like we need to transport baby one and baby two subs by using these platforms okay let's use this With your help we have claimed another piece of the world for the white shark. Well done, Commander. So thank you for watching this for mission. I hope you see it the next time. Bye.